Greetings, brethren in Christ. This is uh, World Believers Communion coming to you with another wonderful message from the Lord. The last time I gave a message in the name of the Lord, it was entitled Will the Time of the Gentiles End in 2030? What happens next? They are elaborated how the Lord how the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth died on the cross and was buried. And on the third day he was raised. And I looked at it from that dimension and said that even now it has been two thousand years since the Lord was buried and he was raised from the dead. And calculating we came to a conclusion that 2030 was two years, which is 2,000 years. Now, what is going to happen today is I come to you with another message entitled, Watch therefore, for you do not know the hour. Your Lord will come. Watch therefore, for you do not know the hour, your Lord will come. I come to you with this end time message because I was arisen by the Lord in a vision on the 31st of October. And this vision I saw to my own surprise, and I know many too will be that the Lord will come a second time and even a third time. I was surprised though, but I had to search through the scripture to see. Why do I see the Lord come a second time and a third time again? Meanwhile, we have heard that he's going to come away. No, of Jesus' second coming, but I haven't heard of his third coming. But today, Jesus Christ of Nazareth revealed to me on this day and I have to share it because that is his command to me. So today, uh, what I saw and I wondered and I looked into the scriptures and I saw that there are two themes about Jesus' coming. When you read some of the scriptures, you hear that he's going to come silently as a thief. When you also read other scriptures, you realize that he's going to come with a shout in a kingly and a glorious manner. So the question now is, can this all be talking about, these two cases, scenarios, be talking about just one coming? But can God lie? No, it's true. 